to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back Creeps and Peace fam and crew Today we're looking at Day of the Dead Originally 1985, this VHS release is 1998 from Anchor Bay Entertainment. Black Clamshell, part of the widescreen collector's edition series they did. Uh, they did multiple copies of Night of the Living Dead and Clamshell. They did multiple copies of Dawn of the Dead and Clamshell. I think this is the only Day of the Dead Clamshell. They just did a widescreen presentation, then a regular edition in a slipcase. Uh, Night of the Living Dead had like a 30th anniversary edition. Dawn of the Dead had like a director's cut, theatrical edition, special edition, whatever. They had a bunch of different versions of the film. This one's just the one. There's not multiple versions of this film. Yoink. Um, I'm a big fan of the original Night of the Living Dead trilogy, Night, Dawn, and Day. Uh, I actually like this movie a lot. I think it's a really cool concept. I uh, like the location being in the underground ground caves, which we have a lot here in Kansas. Like downtown Kansas City, there's a lot of cool things stored in underground caves because we have really good moisture level and salt content of our whatever. Uh, this is, of course, the kind of anchor bay that has liner notes on the inside. And this tape has not been rewound since I watched it to rip the behind the scenes featurette and the theatrical trailer off of it for my VHS rip channel. That's probably the least watched of the three. I probably watched Dawn more than I watched Night, and I watched Dawn and Night more than I watched Day, but I really like Day. I mean, this guy is such a great actor because he plays such a, sc a scumball, but he's awesome in it. I think he's great. I mean, the, everybody's performances in the movie is great. I think it's one of the best written of all of them because there's a lot more going on, a lot more tension between the people as opposed to uh, the people versus the zombies. But this is one that I bought off the shelves. So this is my original copy from 1998-99 when I first bought it. Uh, it's still in pretty good condition. Like I said, I don't think there's any mold or anything like that. Most of my VHSs are in decent condition, except for a couple that got ruined in a flood. But <clears throat> this is one I'm, I'm sure I mentioned before that I've actually shown on 35 millimeter. We did it in one of my old film or one of my old uh, cinemas we did 35 millimeter screening of this and it was really cool it was nice to project it i tr projected night of living dead on 35 and i projected day of the dead on 35 but I, and return of living dead even though it's not connected uh, i just never had a chance to do dawn of the dead which would have been fun but there's such a weird rights issue with dawn of the dead i don't even know if you can ever find a print 35 millimeter nevertheless let me know your guys thoughts on the the de original dead trilogy do you like any of the ones after that uh, as always like comment share subscribe I like hearing back from you guys and peace.